All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Brava crop of figs, and in particular, one part of it that I find to be rather important to understand the Brabas as a whole is actually the two drop phases that Brabas go through. It's kind of similar to what the persimmon tree does, especially the American persimmon. If you guys are familiar with persimmon trees, they typically have that first flush of flowers, they get pollinated, and then a lot of the, the fruits drop off the tree. Because I think the persimmon, just like the fig, once the Brabas start to swell on these branches, the trees just can't handle all of the fruits that the tree could possibly produce. And so there's just so much energy, only enough energy, that's allowed to be given in excess to these fruits. So typically what I've said in the past is the more that our trees get established, uh, the more that our trees can produce Brava reliably. Uh, and it's a little bit tricky in the beginning of the year because the Brava crop swells along with the start of the new growth. So it's almost in tandem that they start to swell as they wake up at the beginning of the growing season. And so if the leaves are not necessarily getting there fast enough and the trees are not producing enough photosynthesis early in that growing season, it's hard to keep the Brabas, or all of the Brabas I should say, on the tree. The tree will just not have enough energy kind of stored within its root system, enough carbohydrates stored within there to support all those fruits. So naturally, you would think most fruit trees actually do this. They always kind of go through a drop phase where they're just saying, hey, I can't really handle this. And they in, sort of intuitively know what they can and cannot support. So that's the first drop phase. Then the second drop phase comes in about 60 days after the trees wake up. The first drop phase happens, I would argue, in that first 15 days after the tree wakes up. But you can see here, this is a tree called uh, Slidell Black. It's a type of Celeste. And Celeste is a Unifera common fig meaning it's only going to produce main crop, only the second crop of figs. You might get some Brabas here and there that actually ripen, which is what this tree is kind of trying to do, but it's just unrealistic because again, it is not supposed to ripen Braba. It's kind of hardwired in its genetics. And so what's happening here is the Brabas are starting to become soft. They're um, a little bit squishy. They're turning yellow. This one's really soft and uh, they're gonna eventually fall off. They're gonna abort. The tree knows, I think, genetically within its, its DNA that it's not really meant to produce Brava. Of course, every so often you get some surprises, but the Brava crop loves to play tricks on us because of these two drop phases. And so it's hard to really ever count your chickens uh, in, you know, before they hatch. I just don't recommend doing that. But it's important to know your variety too, because you may think that you have a variety like this that's gonna produce Brava and it never really does. And that's because you're just choosing the wrong variety. So what I did was to help you guys out on this, I created a whole blog article on my blog, figboss.com. I'll put the link in the description that details out so many different varieties that you can rely upon for their Brava crop. And there's so much other information in there that we can never touch in just this short, simple video. So. I thank you guys here for watching this one. Please hit the subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.